KTM Duke 790, the most anticipated motorcycle from KTM India. Before I get a chance to ride this awesome machine, let me quickly go through some details about this motorcycle, its maintenance and the pricing. KTM Duke 790 is a 799 cc liquid cooled parallel twin engine which produces 105 bhp and 87 newton meter of torque which weights just 169 kg ride. So what does it mean? It just means that KTM has once again done a brilliant job in bringing a motorcycle with the best power to weight ratio in the segment. Generally, KTMs are not made for comfort, but for speed and acceleration. Surprisingly, I could find a plushy seat on the 790 compared to the other Duke models that we see in India. And the seat height of 825mm with its lesser weight is not at all a bad news for short riders. KTM has named it the Scalpel and you will really get to understand that once you see the motorcycle in flesh. It is just a little bigger than the 390 Duke and the whole of the 105 horses sits inside that. I guess now it justifies the nickname. Even though it doesn't borrow majority of anything from the Duke 390, just the headlight of the 790 makes a major resemblance of this to the 390. But the confusions will end once you start the motorcycle and the parallel twin roars. The 790 is not just about the engine but it comes with a whole lot of features like traction control, anti-wheelie, ride by wire throttle, 3 riding modes, cornering ABS, slipper clutch, launch control and a bi-directional quick shifter. Which is in fact in par with a liter class motorcycle like a 10R. Well, that makes this KTM stands out from the competitors like the Z900, Street Triple and the Suzuki GSX S750. After all, you can have more fun with this toy by switching it to the supermotor mode by turning off the rear wheel ABS. 790 comes with the typical WP suspension which has always given confidence for every KTM rider. Brakes looks promising on papers but soon I will update once I get to ride one of these. The on-road price of the Duke 790 is around 10,30,000 to 10,60,000. It does the service just like the other young KTMs in 7000 km expecting an approximate cost of around 4000 rupees. And being a fast motorcycle you don't have to stress too much on the fuel efficiency. But still our expectation is something better than 15 km per litre in Indian city conditions and about 20 km per litre on highways. The on-road cost will be a little surprising for the KTM fans though because many of us expected this to be a locally manufactured unit at least partially. But is this price justifiable? And I can get you that answer pretty soon when I hop onto this beast for a detailed review. See you soon.